Hey, my name is Eric and I am a Mac user and I'm also pretty cheap. <laughs> I have a, a MacBook that's over six years old and I'm making this video to show you a review of the software called Clean My Mac. Uh, it's by MacPaw and I'm gonna show you, before we jump into the tool itself, I wanna show you a before and after of using the service. And then uh, after that, we'll jump into the uh, tool and I'll show you some uh, screen grabs and uh, different ways of using it. And uh, also in the description of this video is a link for the uh, software if you wanna check that out. And uh, from time to time, they do have promotions going on and I'll update that link if they have a promotion going on so you might be able to save some money if you're looking at buying the service. So let's check out the uh, before and after of using Clean My Mac. I just have a few uh, a few tabs open in a separate window and I'm running ScreenFlow to do this video and I'm gonna go and look for maybe one more task to do. Something simple. How about we do about this Mac? Let's start. About 13.43 seconds just to open up the screen. I think that's pretty slow because it's not you're not asking it to do a lot. So this was before using this software, and now let's see how it does after I use Clean My Mac. I was pretty surprised by the results. Alright, I'm gonna do about this Mac and I'm gonna click start on my stopwatch app on my iPhone the same time I'm clicking this. 0.73 seconds is how fast that pulled up. I don't know what that is off the top of my head, but that's probably 15, 20 times faster than what it was taking before to open this menu. Uh, just shows how quickly the computer is processing now compared to what it was doing before. All right, so this is the dashboard of the uh, Clean My Mac 3 software. Um, when I first got this, what I did is I just did a quick scan here. Um, it's not gonna do anything right now because I just cleaned my computer, but it scans your entire computer. And one of the things that I was kind of worried about with the service or the software was, um, is it actually gonna do anything that I just can't do on my own? So like a real quick tip, like if you're in your finder and you just click all my files, and then what you can do, and I think I already have it arranged by size here you can go through pretty easily and just start picking off things like i helped this guy do this video yesterday and why don't i delete that you know that kind of thing because that's taking up space but the cool thing about this service is is it does that for you but it actually finds a lot of uh, things on your computer that you won't be able to find so here's the different cleaning options you have you have system junk um, so it cleans it uh, looks for like cached files and um, various errors sometimes duplicate files um, there's photo junk. Um, I thought this was pretty interesting. So if you do any photography, when you take a raw image, it's like 10 times larger than a JPEG. So it'll keep high quality JPEG images instead of the heavy raw originals. So that is a great way to clear up space if you do any kind of uh, photography. Um, it can go through and clean out your uh, mail attachments. I don't use Apple Mail, so I didn't really have much there. I'm not a big iTunes user either, so that wasn't big for me. But for me, the large and old files was huge because it just, you can scan your entire computer and it just finds everything you need to pull out of it. Uh, when you run the uh, smart cleanup scan, it might take about maybe 20 minutes, 10, 15, 20 minutes around there to uh, do the scan. And then you can decide after it gives you the options of what you want to clean out. So I'll just click it now just to show you what it looks like. So it's going through all the different options that I just went over with you. And it's just funny, like the things you find in here that you weren't even aware of. So one of the one of the issues that I have with my computers, I do a lot of video work, and especially on an older MacBook, that slows it down because it just fills it up. Um, so if you click on the icon here, you can see that I've used a lot of my uh, memory, but it, it lets you know kind of a quick status update of how your computer's doing, um, which is kind of cool. One of the things I like too is I get bad about emptying the trash. Um, it's already set up so as soon as there's like two gigs worth of stuff in the trash, which could just for me just be two videos, it'll automatically notify me that I need to empty the trash. Um, I like that threshold that it puts onto it. And this also has various uh, utilities that you can use. Um, I actually haven't even used these yet, so you can remove entire applications. So um, right now I have 54 applications on the computer and you can go through and just be like, I don't even know what Aspera Connect is, <laughs> you know? So it's stuff like that that you can just start like moving out and just deleting right off your computer. It makes it very easy to do that. Uh, maintenance, there's um, a bunch of different options you can do here um, to uh, update your computer and it just will they'll run scripts so these automatically run when your computer turns on. Um, privacy, you can instantly remove your browsing history along with traces of your online and offline activity, that's pretty cool. 
Um, this one's pretty big. Uh, you can do extensions. You can remove or disable your widgets. If you use like Google Chrome or things like that, the extensions, um, they can slow down your internet browsing experience substantially. Um, I have a lot of these. I should probably remove some of them. <laughs> and then uh, Shredder. So easy, or you can erase any unwanted files or folders quickly and without leaving a trace. So that's also a nice feature, obviously, with um, you know today's day and age of people stealing stuff off of people's computers and their identity and all that stuff. Um, so, uh, the, and I'll go back to the extensions. I think this is worth mentioning if you um, have this. A uh, couple quick tips. So these are like for Chrome. These are up here in the corner. If you don't use them, they're they're great, but they can also slow down your computer. Another thing um, worth mentioning is your desktop um you like right now i'm doing these videos uh these are just video files for this video i'm creating for you i'm going to trash those because anything on your desktop if you have a lot of files and folders on your desktop will slow your computer down so um just kind of like a little additional uh, insight there for you if you didn't already know that but yeah overall i'm very happy with this i'm actually going to go through and clean out some of the plugins too and uh possibly uh look at some uh applications that I can delete off my computer too. And it's just nice because you can just instantly, you know, see what's what on your computer and what's taking up all of the memory and space on your computer. And the fact that I have a six year old MacBook that I'm able to create videos on is incredible. Um, I couldn't create videos like a month ago. And now, now that I have this service, I'm able to do that again. So I'm very thankful for um, a software that is <laughs> very low in price that is giving me such functionality back on my computer. So I highly recommend it. And uh, again, if you want to check the uh, link in the description below, you can get a free trial of this and kind of uh, play with it, you know, try it before you buy kind of thing. And um, if you are interested in purchasing it too, on occasion, there are promotions that they do. And I'll put those links in there and keep the um, promotional code uh, up to date so you can save some money if you are looking to buy this too. All right, hopefully this was helpful for you. And comment below if you have any questions, like the video if it was helpful. And um, thank you for your time and good luck with your uh, computer. I hope this helps.